I'm Pastor George Barkhart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. The conversion of St. Paul. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing at Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all major platforms. Share, share our content, and also buy our merchandise so that you can share the love. And donate. A tax-deductible gift to Higher Things keeps us passing on that faith to the next generation. And our kids need this gospel in these dark times. Today is the confession, the, the conversion of Saul, Paul. Paul, the murderer. Paul, the persecutor of the church. Paul, still breathing threats and murders. This is Acts 9. Against the disciples of the Lord went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues at Damascus so that he, if he found any who belonged to the way, that is, any who believed that Jesus was the way, the truth, and the life, men or women, so that he could get them both, that he might bind them and bring them to Jerusalem. Let's just take a second here and sort of contemplate this. Paul seeks to persecute those who believe in Jesus. And he is an equal opportunity destroyer. I'm sorry, Saul is. He is an equal opportunity destroyer. Whether you are a man or a woman, if you believe that Jesus died and rose again for you, he wants to kill you. He wants to chain you up and bring you to Jerusalem to stand trial. He wants to mark you for death. I want you to take the thought when you, when the next time you have to engage somebody who is so anti-Christian that if God can convert Saul, and I used to argue with Christians too, if God can convert me, let's see what he does. Now he went on his way, he approached Damascus and suddenly a light from heaven shone around him. And falling, from, falling to the ground, literally, God knocked him off his horse. He heard a voice say to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? And since the voice came from heaven, since the voice was obviously God, he said, who are you, Lord? Ego e mi yesu un su dio case. Um, I am Jesus. I am. I am. Very emphatic. I am who I am. I am burning bush, God, and my name is Jesus. And I'm the one you are persecuting. But stand up and enter the city that you might be told what you are to do. The men who were traveling with him stood speechless, hearing a voice, but seeing no one. And Saul arose from the ground, and although his eyes were open, he saw nothing. He was blind. And so they led him by hand to Dama and brought him to Damascus. And for three days, three days, it was like he was dead for three days. He was without sight. He had been dead much longer than three days, but now he's about to be alive and neither ate nor drank. Tomorrow we're going to get to the rest of this, but I just want for today to sort of ponder this for, for a minute. God takes the worst sinner, one who soot, stood in judgment at the murdering of Stephen, one who wasn't, was filled with such hate that he sought to kill those of the faith. And he knocked him down to save him. And if God would save such a person as Saul, and turn him into the greatest missionary of all time. He might have mercy on you and me. Who look at our lives and go, if I set foot in the church, the thing's going to implode. If I get near Jesus, um, I'm going to get consumed by fire. The place to go is the gospel. The place to run to is the forgiveness of sins. And the Savior is the one you're running from. 
He died for you. He rose for you. He lives for you. For Saul, the great persecutor of the church, for Paul, the great apostle, for me, the denier and then preacher, and for you too. If Jesus can save Paul and me, he can save you too. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.